So today is our two minute look at Canva. For those of you who are already using it, I'm going to show you how to integrate it with Canvas. And for those of you who aren't, we're just going to introduce it. So this is Canva, canva.com. So here we have all of these templates. So you can see if I search teacher resources, I have a plethora of things. Canva is really great on this. They also have like an education drop down where they have specifically things for teachers. You can also, let's say you're teaching students how to do resume. You can also do, let's say, science. You're going to get a bunch of templates. Here's a nice thing about slideshows. If you design your slideshow in Canva, there's a bunch of shortcuts that you can use. So you'll pull up a thing, you'll click customize template, you'll modify it however you want. There's going to be animations, all sorts of things. Cool. So let's say I have this set up the way I want. I'm going to present and present. Um, I can also set timers by pressing any number. So I'm going to press four. Now I have a four minute timer, three, I have a three minute timer, six, seven, one. Um, I can pause. This is what you've seen us use in professional developments. We'll have a timer on the board. You can also change by seeing how we can do confetti. There's a bunch of things that we can do. I'll do this for no reason. And it just adds a little bit of pizzazz to your slideshow. The other thing we can do, I have a lot of posters in my classroom that I've designed specifically for Canva. The um, posters you guys saw for the student-led conferences all came from Canva. These animated little videos here in my classes also came from Canva. So here you can see it in action. action. This is exported as a GIF. Any images you want, if you want specific buttons, you can create those in Canva. The last thing I'm going to show you is that you can create a template in Canva for your students to use and turn in. So this is my template that I created originally. I'm going to show you how to turn it into a template. So a template means that other people can use it, but they can't edit your original. So I'm going to click brand template. And then I'm going to add it to that folder. After everything is saved, right down here, you can see it says template. So if I click on it, you can see right here is the share template button. So I can copy that and put it into Canvas. I have a really simple, just click here. So they click here and it takes them to this link. I just made sure that I had online URL and file uploads so that when my students are finished, they can just share and upload. That looks like this. If I click more, right here's Canva for Education because I have it enabled over here. Um, and that will allow my students to click that and then they'll be able to see all of their stuff set up because this is a, so as you guys can see, I can have all of my designs connected with my Canva account and your students automatically have a Canva account. And this is Canva in a nutshell. It's incredibly useful for um, anything that you would normally do with a poster. Let me know if you want any further training for you or your department and I'll be more than happy to help you.